I'm Ugu from Tech Corner TV and I will start by thanking you for watching this video. Today for review I have the JCD soldering station 8898 with electronic temperature controlled solder iron and hot air gun. This one is to give away to one of the channel's lucky viewers, but I have to confess that I'm also considering to buy another one to replace mine uh, with uh, one like this, uh, because it takes a lot less space in the workbench. Enough said, let's open this box and see what's in it. the box let's see what's in it let's open a, open this and first we have a soldering iron <clears throat> yeah it seems okay JCD it has a, a nice end okay so after we have the normal power uh, plug with the uh, European socket uh, as you know I'm in Portugal and the universal socket also and we have the soldering station let me take this out of the way yeah we have here the temperature control for the iron and the fan control for the hot hair and the temperature control for the hot hair uh, we have the iron on off, hot, uh, hot hair gun on off. We have here the socket for the power plug with um, a fuse box. Yeah, and we have an adapter for wall mounting. We can mount this on the wall like this. Yeah, and the soldering, the hot hair gun will stay in here. Let's see what else we have in the box. We have three ends for the hot air gun. We have a support for the iron, solder iron. A warranty card. Yeah, very nice. And finally, we have here the hot air. Uh, the hot air gun. The, the plugs for connecting to the iron to the soldering station are different the solder iron only has three contacts uh, and uh, the hot hair gun has a lot more so you will not fail when connecting here there is no confusion possible this is the solder iron part and this is the hot hair part Let's start by placing some components in this board and see how the soldier turned out. You have the affiliate link for the soldering station on the description in case you like what you see and wish to buy one. 
Don't forget that if you use the affiliate links in the description before shopping on AliExpress, Banggood or Amazon, you will be helping the channel without any costs to you. Thank you for your support. the hot hair gun already in place installed uh, let's see how it works as you can see it's heating up as soon as I remove it from the support it heat ups let's point this to the board and let's see if I can take this out it should be 480 degrees right now just tight this up okay and the solder is already uh, losing melting yeah easy just use a solder sucker to take it out Okay, let's put this on the stand. As soon as we put on the holder, it starts uh, reducing the temperature. Okay, it's okay. Uh, when it reaches 100 degrees, it will automatically shut down a little more. It comes to 100 degrees, wait a, wait a bit. Wait for it, wait for it, and it should be turning off right now. Yeah, amazing. To wrap it up, the performance of this solder station is very good. Heat up very quickly, both the soldering iron that can reach up to 500 Celsius degrees or 932 Fahrenheit degrees, or the hot air gun that can reach up to 480 Celsius degrees or 896 Fahrenheit degrees. It is very compact and despite the accessible price, the material seems to, to have good quality and it is easy to find and replace components like the soldering iron or the hot air gun with compatible ones. The fact that it can be installed on a wall, it is very positive, helping to save precious bench space. The price of this solder station with hot air is about 40 euros or 48 dollars with free delivery from a European warehouse. It can be a little higher depending on the accessories you buy with it. And if you live in the USA, you have also local warehouses. It has a very good cost-benefit ratio, you get a good product for the value you pay. And I am very satisfied with the experience while using it for this review. WEP, the manufacturer of my current uh, solder station, has the 889D model that costs about 50 euros or 58 dollars with included delivery. 
and also as an electric solder iron with hot hair gun, but targets for bench, uh, making this model of JCD a little more versatile since you can install it on a wall. And it, and it is also more economic. Regarding the WEP 889D solder station, it also has the issue of having slightly inferior features. That's all for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up by hitting the like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that bell so you can be the first one to be notified every time I post a new video. That's it. Stay safe. I hope to see you in my next video. Cheers.